Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hey Mom Day video. You guys have been requesting more homeschooling videos, and I don't really know where to start. So a few months ago, I was actually tagged to do a homeschool mom tag, and um, Rachel from Rachel Day to Day Joys, Day to Day, um, she tagged me in this months ago, and I'm so sorry that I'm just now doing this, but I figured this was a great place to start and opening this dialogue about homeschooling and inviting you guys to tell me what you want to see. I don't know why it took me so long to do this tag. I want to apologize for that. But um, this is just a quick little overview of um, homeschooling, and it gives you a really good idea of how each person who does this tag homeschools. So I'm just going to jump right in. I should say... This might be the first time you're seeing me with my new glasses. I like them. I can see you. It's lovely. <laughs> Before I start, I should let everybody who is new here know and who doesn't know me. Hello, my name is Rainbow. I am a homeschooling mom. We've been homeschooling um, since my daughter could talk, really, my oldest. We were very unschooly for the first few years, and now we've kind of created our own curriculum and, and movement. But my daughter is about to be seven and my son is three and a half. So this year would be our first official solid homeschooling year, I would say, where we're actually registered like with the government as homeschoolers and everything. So it's pretty exciting. Question one is, were you homeschooled? I was not homeschooled. Actually, I was for like a few months, um, but it wasn't proper homeschooling, I guess. It was more out of um, my parents had to start schooling me in some way and so they chose homeschooling for a little while before that was like it sent me to public school after a while um, but for a little bit but not really like not anything to truly remember or like have a homeschooling experience so no I'm going to say two is did you always know you would homeschool your children and I did not to tell you the truth um, I feel like when you before you have kids or even when you're pregnant, you have a way that you imagine you're going to do everything. Um, it's like that classic before you have kids being like, well, I'm not going to do this with my children and I'm going to do this. Sure you are. Um, but no, I really didn't have a solid idea of schooling. I felt that I probably would just do public school like everybody else does and then once I had my first, it kind of just changed my world. And um, right from then on, I was, I started looking into homeschooling because I became, I guess not became, I just found my way into the natural motherhood community and a lot of them were homeschoolers and so I started to learn more about homeschooling and my friends who were homeschoolers and it kind of was just this natural progression and it just fit really well with what I believed in and how I wanted to raise my kids and it's just, it evolved and became what it is and it's just been really lovely. Question three is, what are your three favorite books in your homeschool library? Now, it's kind of hard because homeschool library is just like we read everything. But I'm going to say, as if we're doing learning books, these are my very three favorite books. As of now, this September in 2017, these are what I'm really liking. Um, we love, love, love our Nature Anatomy. Got this book off Amazon but you can get it get it in a lot of places. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of like a nature journal field guide with like watercolor paintings. Oh, I've talked about this book before. This is one of them. And then our Buddha at Bedtime books. We love these. These are some of our very favorite books. Um, we are not personally Buddhist, but I uh, definitely am aligned with a lot of their teachings and values and beliefs and these are just lovely little like fables in a way that teach lessons and um yeah I've talked about these before too they're wonderful and these are a big part of our homeschooling experience and third right now for both my kids because my kids are quite young um is our family tree which is a beautiful picture book about evolution and it's just this gorgeous gorgeous book and again this is a book I have shown you guys before so oh got my head in it <laughs> this is one of my favorite those are my three favorite books right now question four is are you the only homeschooling teacher um like does your spouse help are you part of programs do you have tutors stuff like that um I 
for the most part, am the primary homeschooling teacher, especially right now. Um, sometimes if my husband is available or we're having a really random day um, where our homeschooling is not taking place in the morning, then my husband will help and he's happy to and he's really good at it and I really appreciate his help. Um, but for the most part, it's just me. I'm sure if he was home more often, then he would step in and gladly help because he I think he enjoys it. Um, but right now, it's just me. In the future, though, I'm sure I will be leaning on him a little bit more for some subjects because, for example, he excels in history like more than most people. He has a knack for, for history. And so that's definitely going to be his be his area of teaching our children when they're older. And of course, with anything in our homeschool journey, if the need arises for me to um, reach out to resources or anything like that for help, if I feel like I can't meet their needs or what they want, then um, we'll do that. Question five is, where's your favorite place to buy homeschool curriculums? Um, I don't have one because I don't follow a strict curriculum. That's just not something I'm interested in. Um, maybe that'll change in the future. I don't know. So yeah, I don't have one. But to elaborate just a tiny bit, the curriculum we've created is kind of from all over the place, like bits of inspiration from a lot of different areas. So um, we've, again, kind of made our own. And we do loosely follow the Canadian curriculum guide. Because if, if you are new, and I hadn't mentioned that before, we are Canadian. So um, we, for the, for the core subjects right now in these early years, um, we're just following the basic curriculum guide and then expanding on that. Question six is, do you have a set budget for your homeschooling? And we do not, personally, especially since, again, we're pretty in those early years, so it's not really necessary yet. Um, we just buy what we need to. We were actually super lucky. Um, we got gifted a whole bunch of school supplies and um, just a lot of different things that um, I would have maybe had to buy that I didn't have to. My old neighbor was a, what was she, preschool to second or third grade teacher and she, when she moved, she gave me all of her things, which was so amazing. And then um, somebody else I know, a school was closing down where she lives and she went and raided some of the like lower grade classrooms and brought me a whole bunch of amazing stuff like maps and and tons of stuff like that so I really appreciated that and now I have a really cool homeschool collection I think also where I am in Canada I'm in Alberta and here you have to be registered with a school board to be able to homeschool here and depending on what type and what like section of homeschooler you fall under you get a certain amount of funding so um, we do get funded if we choose to take that, which I have not yet. I haven't seen a need to. Um, and then it just like gets donated back to your school board, which is nice too. Question seven is what are two must have homeschool supplies? This one's hard because there are so many awesome supplies, but I think basics would have to be just like good sketch paper and some sort of art supply, be it like watercolor paints or pencil crayons or even crayons, markers, you know, just some sort of like um, art supply and a good paper. <laughs> I can pretty much do most of what needs to be done, I think, with just that. Question eight is what are your favorite and least favorite subjects to teach? This one's tricky because everything's fun right now, but I would say my least favorite would be math just because I always disliked math. I've never been good at math. Always, just math is just not my thing. Um, but I've had to keep that to myself. Hopefully nobody heard me say that because I don't let that be known with my children. Um, I don't wanna rub anything off on them. Um, right now, thankfully it's easy. <laughs> so, And then my favorite would probably be between, ooh, that's really hard because I love so much of it. Um, like core subjects, I would say probably science, maybe some language, really like, ooh, that's hard. And then I really like art. Um, I love teaching art and a lot of like our music lessons are really fun. There's too many. I can't answer that question properly, obviously. I hope you guys can still see me. I'll try to sit up tall. I just had to get off my feet because every video you guys see me do in McKenzie's room, my feet go numb. So I'm not letting that happen today. Question nine. I think that's what we're on. Nine. I should have actually like labeled these. 
is are you involved in any homeschool co-ops or groups and what has your experience been in these um I'm not right now I feel like we're since we're on the younger end of things still there I haven't found really a need however that being said we have some really amazing homeschool co-ops and homeschool groups in my area um I live really really close to a big city and so there are plenty in the city and there are also a couple out here where I live um so I kind of get the best of both worlds with that although we haven't gone to any yet just because I haven't the desire's not there yet and I don't know the need isn't really there it's hard to explain maybe I'll dive that deeper into that later um but I've heard really good things and I'm part of the groups online and I've had great experiences with them so far love to meet them in person but I think I'm kind of an introvert so I feel like I need to start small and then work my way up to it so um hopefully we'll do maybe um some town ones this year. And last question number 10 I believe is what is your approach? Are you Charlotte Mason or classical or eclectic? Stuff like that. Um, now I feel like I have a little bit of an extended answer for this. Obviously right off the bat definitely eclectic um, with a little bit of Charlotte Mason mixed in there. Inspired I would say. Um, but I realized that in America where this tag was born, I believe, is a little bit different. Um, like that's your guys' styles of school. And in Canada, we have three kind of branches of schooling in a way, which is like traditional homeschoolers, which means parent-led homeschooling um, that falls under like unschoolers, eclectic schoolers, everything like that. We have aligned, which is um, you're following the school's like the Canadian curriculum basis or this the school board's curriculum and fully aligned means you're doing exactly the same curriculum as in school all the work all the homework just at home so um, as far as those category categories go I am definitely we are traditional homeschoolers um, and then we fall more in a very eclectic way we used to be on scores but that just I wasn't able to stay organized um, and I just felt that we weren't necessarily meeting all of the areas I wanted to meet with schooling and so we've created our own little curriculum and schedule and it has been working out beautifully for us. Okay, so that's a little bit more about me and our homeschooling journey. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you. Everybody who's been asking for homeschooling videos, I love that you're asking for them. Um, if this inspired some more questions from you or something you wanted me to dive deeper into, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, it really helps me to make these videos when I know what you guys want to hear because I keep hearing like, oh, do homeschool videos. And I'm like, okay, what do you want to know? <laughs> so just let me know if there's something specific. Maybe this was helpful to you and maybe it sparks some more questions. So um, thanks for watching this week's Hey Mom Day, a little bit more structured, I guess, of a Hey Mom Day. Um, we'll see you guys next week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you're not because I've gotten a few messages this week about being like, why did you stop vlogging? And I'm like, I didn't. And they're like, well, I didn't see your post. You gotta subscribe to my channel because I don't always post on other social medias, especially Facebook because I don't like Facebook. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. As always, have a beautiful week. Love your faces. Bye.